you are taking on a pretty tough, tough character here. Tell us, yeah. Tell us about Zelda. Tell, tell us what, what attracted you to this character. Um, I mean, the character itself, of course, was just, that's kind of an actor's dream because it's so, um, there's just, there's so much to her and it's so um, emotionally heavy. Um, and Eric's script, like the whole, as a whole, I was attracted to the movie. Um, it's, it's just an intense ride. And, um, I knew, I knew I was scared of it. Yeah. And that it would be really challenging. And that's, I mean, that's what you want to do as an actor, right? You want to face your fears and, and, and challenge yourself and see see what, what you're capable of as a person. Now, you do a lot of genre. Yeah. Have you always been a horror fan? I've always loved horror movies. I definitely wasn't, um, like, educated in them. Okay. Like, I didn't, I, I loved to watch horror movies. I loved to be, like, scared. Um, I love, like, the gore and the effects and the whole thing, but I, I wasn't, I didn't, like, know directors and writers and and all that stuff, yeah. It was just, I've always loved movies as a whole. Nice. Well, what yeah. was your first introduction to horror? Do you remember? Um, it depends, like, I mean, I remember, I don't know if this is horror. I remember watching Fire in the Sky, which is more sci-fi-y. I would say that works, because that's creepy. It, I was, I was so, I would think I was, like, four Oh and God. I was so traumatized. I it's still, I finally watched it again as like an adult, and it was still so terrifying. Out. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still terrified of that movie. Um, also, uh, my mom had this huge Edward Scissorhands poster above my above our bed, <laughs> which always scared me. But I love that movie so much. So yeah, and she was also obsessed with like Rosemary's Baby. Jesus. So I saw that. Yeah, I had quite uh, an, an eclectic, like scary mix of movies in there. That's awesome. And she loved musicals. So I, I, it's all over the place. Oh my god! Well, there, there are there are musical horror films. Yeah. Yeah, there's a like couple what? of Stage Fright, uh, Cannibal the Musical. I've favorite. never seen any of these. Oh my god! You need to. We need. We will. We. Will, I'm going to okay. educate you on these. Please do. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> now, okay, you work these crazy hours doing these independent films. What do you do for fun? What do you do to get away from this? Uh, I mean, I do normal stuff. I hang out with my friends. Um, I like to like go on hikes. I love being outdoors. Um, I like to read books. Like I'm kind of like, I just normal calm things. Yeah. I'm not, not very excited. I am not a clubber. I mean, I don't, I just don't like, um, being with a lot of people in a dark place where you can't hear each other talk. I mean, I like dancing, but mm -hmm. not, I'm not a club. I'm not a club girl. Well, in LA, it's almost like you can't go to a club and actually just dance. It's always too crowded. It's and too so packed. crowded and packed. Yeah, and I also don't drink, so I. I mean, I. I have, of course, in my life. Um, yeah. But I don't. It just if you don't want to go to a club sober, because <laughs> no, it's just not that fun. <laughs> so. Not, yeah, not a club. You're a reader, though, because uh, no one reads nowadays. Nobody reads. That's you not read. true. D so many people don't, though. I, I, can't, I don't know what a book is. I can't read one. I love what books. Do you what do you read? Who's your favorite author? Um, oh, who's my favorite author? I go through phases. Um, I really I went through a crazy Chuck Palahniuk phase. I read all of his okay, books. Okay, I read his. Yes, yeah, <laughs> see, you read. So I do read some. Um, I really love Charles Bukowski mm -hmm. and um, Jonathan Safran Foyer. He's um, he's amazing author. I just I just like books. I like that's also how I do a lot of research for characters. Like I I don't know. I, you can get lost in a book so easily. Yeah, that's true. And I really like that. I like I like that as like a like an escape. I'm gonna go like if I'm having like a bad day or week, I'm like you know what I'm gonna go read a book and fall into that world and just live there for a minute. And then when I come back, everything's okay. Do you have a character that you'd love to play that you've read that you've never seen actually on film? Ooh, that's such a good question. Um, I don't know. That's something I'd have to think about. Nothing like instantly comes into my head. There, Chuck Palahniuk wrote Invisible Monsters, yeah. which is an amazing. But I think they're making that into a movie. I think so. And I'm yeah. not really sure. I don't know. I don't know. There's not a character that jumps at. I also read this book called Elsewhere, which is I think like a young adult novel. Okay. And it's about it's about this. I'm too old to play her now. She's 13 in the book. <laughs> 
I got, I grew up. Uh, we can, we can, they can fix it. <laughs> but, oh, make it work. <laughs> it's, but it's this amazing book. This, this 13 year old, it's, it's about, um, this 13 year old dies and goes to heaven, but it's like, it's called Elsewhere. I think I've heard of that. Yeah. It's a beautiful book and it, it's, it, I just fell in love with it. Now, do you have, obviously you've been in this business for a while. Do you have actors like that you just, oh, I want to be her or I want to like either you can call yeah. it girl crush. You can call it just, I, you know, someone who's icon. Totally. Do you have someone like that? Yeah. Um, two people instantly come into my brain. Vera Farmiga. I'm, I've been in love with her since I was a teenager. Yeah. Um, and Juliette Lewis. Oh yeah, good I would choices. like kill for her. For, I mean, I mean, any she, every every uh, character she chooses is the right one. Favorite Juliette Lewis performance? Um, oh my God, that's like so impossible. <laughs> I so always many come back things. to Cape Fear, even though it's like her first thing. Yeah, she kind of blows me away in that film. Yeah, she pulls me away in so many films, yeah, though. Yeah, she's really good. She's just so she's good. Always good. She's always good. And she, it's interesting to see, like, her career over the years. Because she was so amazing when she was so young. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but she's, like, now, she, I, but she's equally amazing now. And I don't know. There's, like, a, I, there's so many child actors who are so great and then they grow up and we either don't see them mm -hmm. or they're like the magic isn't there anymore yeah or they have you know all the issues or they have issues yeah of yeah. course and she's somebody that like her her magic stayed yeah i yeah. agree with that she's all i i always think back to her i i always loved like natural born killers of and course. cape fear and yeah i think she was awesome in whip it too she was awesome in Whip yeah, It. Yeah, right? She was so good in Whip That's It. That's a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> and I just watched um, the Quentin Tarantino movie, what she was in. Oh, shoot. Um, why is it? I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, I am too. Dus, dusk after, dusk, dawn after dusk from after. From dusk till from dawn. From dusk till dawn. Yeah. yeah. You know what's weird? I've she never seen that. that. I'm watching that tonight. What? I've never seen that one. I don't know why. You've never, never seen, seen, seen that movie. That movie. I've ne yeah, we're doing an unseen Hollywood where we have to talk about oh movies that we haven't God. seen. I've ne I've seen every horror movie. I've never seen that. You have to see that movie. I'm seeing it tonight on Netflix. That's insane. <laughs> you like blow? You just blew my mind. I know. Whoa. And everything else. Everything else. Whoa. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Watch it. Now you. We're doing something fun. You yeah. are taking two characters that are very beloved to me. Yeah. Freddie and Jason. Now, why Freddie and Jason? What What attracted you to those two characters to take on? Um. Okay. I. I'll be honest. Jason wasn't my idea. I was. I just thought of Freddie. Um. Because when they asked me who I would want to like. Be, um, I gave I ha I gave some I would say like normal girl answers, and then but in my brain I instantly was like, Freddy Krueger would be so cool. That's not a part that I would play, so why I would just I just wanted to to dress up like like him. I don't know Nightmare on Elm Street. Nice, like yeah. that's iconic and. I don't, I just, I was just something, it was just something, that's the festival that came to my head. I don't even know why. And then, um, it was told to me like, Hey, why don't we do like eighties theme, like Freddie versus Jason? And I was like, that's brilliant. Yeah, of course. Ned, are you a fan of the eighties slasher flicks? Yeah. They're so much fun. So fun. How can you not be? I do not know. They are the greatest. Yeah. They're the Every greatest and they keep remaking them. Which is fine. That's like great for um, younger generations. Okay, sure. but uh, the they're, the originals are the classics. Yeah. Well, it's hard. I, I get the idea that you you know uh, you're gonna release a new uh, whatever Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah. And audiences are gonna be like, oh, cool. Maybe I'll go and watch the original one. Yeah. But I think for fans of the old ones, kind of. Like, don't do that. Yeah. No, well, no, you don't want to ruin a good haven't. thing. Yeah. But it doesn't. It doesn't ruin it. No, you still have the original. So. Out of this movie, let's go back just a little bit of this movie. What's okay. the favorite thing that you got to do? Because you you got to, God do damn so it, you got to dark places. I know. <laughs> um, oh, I got to do a lot of fun stuff. I will say, um, like, working with weapons on set, I've never mm. really done that before. And it was really, really cool because I didn't – I've never been a big fan of guns – um, and I had to take like a class about gun safety and how to properly shoot a gun. And it was, it was so oh, fun. 
Um, you look like you're having fun with it that. Was, yeah, I had a lot of fun and, and being on set and doing all those things. And a lot of the times we would only have like one or two takes at most to get certain shots. And um, I don't know, there's like a real adrenaline rush that comes with it. That's really fun. So now I, I like guns as long as they're uh, like, you're smart about them. <laughs> so how much did you do a lot of sh on the range and stuff like that? Yeah, not a lot, but uh -huh. I did. I did go to a gun range and and shoot different uh, kinds of guns. So I would know. You should see her in this movie. She this is a, <laughs> this is a gun, man. This is a gun. Well, yeah. so Joe Blow readers, you are you guys are going to get the first chance to see Wolf Mother. She's so this amazing. She is awesome in the movie, by the way. You kick ass. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Very much so. Yeah. So thanks for watching, guys, and you'll. This is, thanks for doing this for yeah, us. Yeah, thank you. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait for everyone to see it. I know we do. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys.